Yo. Shredded, bro! This is my last morning on the couch. Now see, the main thing that I wanna talk about in today's video, in today's David, I don't know, maybe that sounds like a good a word for these? I don't know what to call them. The main thing I want to talk about is why. Why would you live in a car or a van? It's a very popular thing nowadays, but I feel like it hasn't been given a full once over. So, I'm in Utah right now. I have been in Utah for maybe like the past week. I came here from Arizona. And here I go. And I spent the last week here in my buddy Nick's apartment. And that's Nick. Now the plan today was to leave the apartment because I've been here for like a week and drive down to Moab. But now you see the problem is, it rained in Moab yesterday. And when it rains on sandstone, you're not supposed to climb it for at least a day or two. Which, I mean I went down there, I want to go down there because I want to go climbing. And so going down there right now, I can't climb today. I probably shouldn't climb tomorrow. So there's no real point for me to go down there yet. And if you're wondering why you shouldn't climb on sandstone after it rains, it's because it's really wet and brittle and there's a good chance that you will break rocks off, which is dangerous and bad for the climbs. And, but although it is a really nice day out, I mean here in Salt Lake City, and I don't want to spend another day inside because I've been spending the last few days doing homework and chores. And I still want to tell this story about why you should live in a van or a car. So let's just go bouldering. Nick, I'm stealing your crash pad. I'll bring it back. So anyway, back on task for this video. Why should you live in a van slash a car? What's the purpose? Why do it? Let's talk about it. chilly out. So I need to throw a caveat in there, which is that I've only been car life in for like a week and 
basically almost all of it has been at Nick's apartment. So what I'm saying isn't from experience, it's more of theory. Theory of why I wanted to start and why I've been obsessed with this idea for so long. Well, this seems to be a really trafficked trail. You know I don't boulder very much when I bring TC Pros to go bouldering. That hurt. It's gonna leave a mark. Okay, finally. So about living in a car or a van. Way back, originally, living out of a van was started by the surfers. Then in the 50s, 60s, 70s, it kind of was adopted by rock climbers to be able to just climb full time. And nowadays it's transitioned into just this weird all out of everyone who isn't a rock climber, isn't a surfer or something, just anyone, which is fine. I just see so much nowadays of people, you know, they're trying to make the coolest vans possible. And it seems like people are falling in love with the van, not with what the van can do. See, I look at a van or a car sort of like a tool. It's just something you use to help you do what it is you're trying to do. The van shouldn't be the goal. For instance, for me, I don't want to live in a car because I think it's fun. I don't think the car part is fun. I feel like you need to have an impetus for moving into a vehicle. Moving into the vehicle should not be the goal. I see a lot of people that do that and they end up quitting soon after or not being that happy doing it because they don't have a reason to be doing it. Climbing is the impetus for me to live in a car. Living in a car means I can climb more, which ultimately makes me more happy about being, li being alive. <laughs> Now, it doesn't have to be climbing or surfing, it can be whatever you want it to be, but I would just say that I think having something, having a reason to be in a vehicle, to live in a vehicle, is going to keep you there longer and make you enjoy it more, as opposed to the vehicle being the goal of your adventure. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. Back to climbing. <laughs> Gotta show my buddy what he said no to today. <laughs>